Canon's really not known for their pancake lenses, but recently out of the blue, they announced the 40 millimeter F 2.8 lens. This lens is extremely small. When I say pancake, it refers to the size of the lens and how thick it is. This lens is ultra small, especially when you compare it to a 35 millimeter F 1.4 lens. The 40 millimeter F 2.8 is kind of a unique item. It uses a different type of focusing motor than most of Canon's other lenses lens lineup and it's a little bit of an oddball. I wonder if it's almost uh, a kind of prerequisite to a release of a mirrorless camera. Anyway, this is designed for full frame body or a crop sensor body. So I'm going to be testing this out on both the Canon 5D Mark III as well as the T2i to see how it performs as far as vignetting, sharpness, and other features of the lens are concerned. I'll also be filming a little bit with this so you can get an idea of how this lens performs on both a crop sensor and a full frame camera. So let's get started testing the Canon 40mm f2.8 lens. The Canon 40mm f2.8 lens is pretty solid overall. It's got a metal EF mount as opposed to plastic like you see on some of Canon's cheaper kit lenses. So that's pretty durable and you don't have to worry about breaking off or wearing out parts on the mount itself. Even though the lens is made out of plastic, it feels pretty solid in my hand and the focus ring travels smoothly. I will warn you that the focus ring is actually fly-by-wire, the same system that Canon used on the 85mm f1.2 lens. So you cannot actually focus the lens without having power to the lens itself. The filter threads on this are 52 millimeter, which is a pretty standard size. So chances are you'll be able to share filters with other lenses in your kit. The T2i is a crop sensor camera, so of course it takes advantage of the center of the lens as opposed to using the entire glass. Although the 40 millimeter F2.8 is designed for a full frame body, I'm gonna test it out on here to see how well the sharpness performs on a crop sensor body. All right, taking a look at the vignetting test here, this is the T2i result. If we go ahead and zoom in to 50% here, you can still see the center. It does darken just a little bit as we go to the corners, but it's not extremely noticeable and it's pretty subtle. The uh, vignetting isn't very bad on the crop sensor body. Switching over to the sharpness test results, if we go ahead and go to 100% here and take a look at the center, you'll notice that center sharpness, of course, is good. As we scroll over to the corners here, you'll see that the corner sharpness is also excellent. The lens performs very well at f2.8 as far as sharpness is concerned. If you place the Canon 40mm f2.8 lens on the T2i body, you'll notice that it barely extends past the Canon label on the front of the camera. When you focus this lens, it does however extend out a small amount, about a half an inch in and out for focusing. Just to give you an idea of how loud the Canon 40 millimeters focusing motor is, first let's compare it to a 35 millimeter F1.4 L series ultrasonic lens. I've got the microphone laying up against the window on the top of the lens and you can hear the focus motor run. And you can also kind of see how fast that lens operates. All right, now this focusing test is on the Canon 40 millimeter F2.8 lens. And of course you can hear that the 40 millimeter lens is a little bit louder than the L series ultrasonic lenses. It also seems to focus a little bit slower when you compare that to the Canon 35 millimeter F1.4 L series lens. The Canon 40mm f2.8 lens does in fact have full-time manual focus. It's just implemented in a strange way. Normally with full-time manual focus lenses, you're able to have the lens set to autofocus and still have access to controlling the focal point using the focusing ring. With the Canon 40mm f2.8 lens, instead you have to half press the shutter button before you can actually have access to control 
over the focus point of the lens. This is kind of a strange implementation of full-time manual focus, but it is available for this lens if that's a feature that you're interested in. All right, now I'm using the Canon 40 millimeter F 2.8 lens with 5D Mark III. On a full frame body, you'll be able to see pretty much all of the lens in action and get an idea of how well it performs in the corners as far as sharpness is concerned. Let's look at the vignetting test first. So you'll notice right away at this perspective that the center brightness is pretty decent. As you start to go to the edges, you'll notice that there is fairly strong vignetting in the corners here and here. If we go ahead and zoom in and pull over, it's pretty noticeable the change in exposure from the corner to the centers. You can see that brightening up pretty fast and we'll go to 50%. So it's a little bit easier to see. You can see the difference up here from down here. There is very strong vignetting on a full frame camera at f2.8. Now let's switch over to the sharpness test here. And you can see already just from this bit that it looks pretty sharp. We'll go to 100% here and look in the center. And you can see that center sharpness is excellent. As we scroll out to the corners, you will notice the vignetting, but you still get very good sharpness in the corners, even on a full frame body. And scrolling up to the top corner, there is still pretty decent sharpness overall across the entire frame, even at f2.8. The Canon 40 millimeter lens has a focusing distance of a little bit less than a foot. I can actually put it on a crop sensor camera and it's almost a macro lens. I'm able to fill the entire frame with my dog's head using this lens at a distance of a little bit less than a foot. Overall, I'm pretty positive on this little 40 millimeter lens. It fits in kind of a sweet spot between the 50 f1.8 and the 50 f1.4. If you need extreme low light performance, I would spend the extra money and get the 51.4. But if you're looking for a extremely compact, cute little lens that has almost macro capabilities, I would definitely consider the 40 millimeter lens. Its size means that it'll probably get packed in your bag a lot more, and it's almost the size of a body cap, so it's something that you could leave on your camera all the time. The positives are definitely the size, and the focusing distance. The focus ring's a little bit hokey and I would have liked to have seen a window on here indicating the focus distance, but you can't ask for everything, especially at a price tag of $199. I think this is a keeper for my kit, but if you'd like to find out more about the 40 f2.8 lens, you can swing over to dslrfilmnoob.com for a full written review. Also have links in the crotch bar below to all the information that you need to go pick one of these up.